lay down on the sofa and I'm laying down and I'm like, it's my eye getting heavy. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why is my eye getting heavy? So I, get, so I get up. So I get up and go to the bathroom. I'm like, I, I just put, like, usually when I use the eye drops, the, I like, the, like the redness go away fast. Like it, like it, it automatically take the redness away, and it and and it stop my itching. I can go to the bathroom and my eye is puffing, and my eye never get that puffy. So now I'm freaking out because I'm like, okay, like this is something new. Now now I don't want to take Benadryl. I don't want to put the drops in my eye because this is new. And because raising at this, so I'm already knowing your child is dead. Yes, now I'm panicking because now this is a whole new thing. Like now now I've already been to the hospital because my eye has has irritation so now i need to see why my eye is 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 puffing up like this so i had benadryl i bought the benadryl with me but i didn't want to take it because i want to know what's wrong for like i don't want to get there and then i took benadryl so now the infection going down i want them to tell me what the fuck wrong with my eye you know so so when i got there but i had benadryl with me and um they had to flush my eye um bitch my fucking the whatever this this my white stuff was was girl was so puffy. When you was talking to me, bitch, I couldn't even see your the, it, your, the white part of your eye. I'm like, damn, bro, just so bad. Not bad enough to the hospital, though, but I still so bad. <laughs> <laughs> girl, that shit was scary, girl. Girl, imagine, girl, imagine every time we stop and get something to eat, bitch, I'm looking out the window like this. <laughs> you know, you just all, I was on Facetime with you last night. You were raising. Y'all stop so well, bitch. And I'm like, you put the phone down, and this one turns around. I'm like, why are you just looking at the, out the window like that? They was like, cause my eyes. <laughs> I said, oh, you want people to drive through? See that eye? Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. But who got was to about to say we ain't no fight, girl? Girl, 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 girl to see your eye, bitch. Now try to run with it, girl. Fuck That's you. the first thing, bitch. That's the first thing I'll you, say, bitch. You, have to you, that. you ain't gotta have no bruise or nothing, bitch. They're gonna say, oh, bitch, they must have had a fight, and bitch, you ain't, bitch, you ain't gotta have no bruise or nothing, bitch. <laughs> but you ain't gotta have none of that. As long as they see your eye, I kept turning my head. So you was doing that. I'm like, no, ain't you talking to me? Why you keep turning the fucking phone? So you turning up your head, looking at the window, ain't nothing. Then the people say, "We'll, we'll drink your head a sprite." I'm like, why are you not talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, Fuck that. Don't, don't tell the reason, and don't forget my honey, my uh, my uh, mustard and honey. Don't forget that. I'm like, can you uh, can you talk to that man while you talking to yes. him? Yes. And don't forget my hot sauce and honey. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I was so weak, bro. Yeah, but they gave me a um they gave me a steroid shot. They gave me steroids and pep pepside and Benadryl, bitch. But I took three Benadryls and still didn't go to sleep. Still was up all late, man. And you took the fucking Benadryl before your ass even got in the car. I'm like, why are you taking it right now? Girl, and still didn't go to sleep. That shit ain't do nothing. You always gotta see what's going on with your sleeping. I I think it's new medication they put me on. You think? Yes, indeed. But they say that medication puts you to sleep, so I don't understand. Like the medication, like um, like you know how I take my Kepra in the morning and at night. When mm -hmm. I get fully off the Kepra, I'm supposed to only take this this um this epilepsy medicine at night. Mm -hmm. So. I don't go take it at night because it's made to put you to sleep. So, but I'm still on on Kepra too. So I think once the Kepra is fully done, yeah, Pepsi. Fuck, so that's what it is. Man, they be knowing everything in this bitch. What I take to make my pregnancy go fast? Oh, oh that is what she said. Um, she said that too. Steroids definitely keep you up too. And I take the steroids at night, so that makes sense. What you say, friend? I said, they be knowing everything in the live, bitch. What I take to make this pregnancy go faster? I'll turn nine months into now. <laughs> bitch, have sex with a superhero. What? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> superhero scary. babies come fast, bitch. Bitch, you ever seen um The Boys? No, you keep telling me about that. I haven't watched it, though. <laughs> Them superhero babies phone fast, fast. Oh, vampire. <laughs> Vampires. Tell me. You didn't they go fast thing. That's the only way. That's all I know. I'll be alright. I'm enjoying milking it anyways. 
That's what happened when you find out too early. But you found out super early. I don't really I understand the concept behind it. You keep saying it, oh, but you, you found out too early. Like, what the fuck? I told you that, friend. I, I told you. I told you. When, when you told me you were six weeks, I said, oh, you found out too early. But how do you how do you prevent from finding out too early? Like, if you're feeling like, okay, well, fuck, I haven't had my menstrual. that's normal like everybody don't have a a, a regular menstrual well even with that i still like want to be huh i still want to be cautious i ain't want to be you know i had already, already went on a fucking couple trip and i'm out there drinking every bit of uh what the things is they pop you ain't gonna find out till you got home those i, I, I won't find out until i get home because i want to drink steps to be out there the what the popular drink painkillers I was knocking them painkillers back. That's the famous drink for in that um place out there. Painkillers. She better listen to me, bitch. You finally you're too early, and that's why right now she's trying to me. I'm not listening to now. Nothing about pregnancy. You know why? Because all she do is put fear in my heart. Well, here go a fear for you, bitch. You are gonna be pregnant for eight more fucking months, ho. Now, now, bitch, now that's the truth, ho. You're going to be pregnant for eight months. Bitch, you're going to be pregnant for fucking Labor Day. You're going to be pregnant for Thanksgiving. You're going to be pregnant for Christmas, bitch. You're going to be pregnant for fucking for, for, for August, September, Halloween. But you can't wear that costume. But you better go as Mary, Jesus, and Joseph, bitch. That's what you, that's what you better go as, ho. That's what you better do. Yeah, that's how long you're going to be pregnant. You're going to be pregnant so damn long, bitch. You, you can't do me? nothing. You can't do a goddamn thing but be a pregnant, wallowing in hope, bitch. You're gonna, and you're going to be pregnant all on... Don't hang up on me, friend. <laughs> Y'all see what I mean? But she the main one who, and I say, I wanted to get a doula. You don't need a doula, friend. I'm going to be your doula. Bitch, who I want to be your doula. I want to be your doula. But, I'm, but you need an what? honest doula. <laughs> You need an honest doula, friend. No, I don't want to hear about bitch. That baby gonna split you, bitch. Look how big Jamal is. Front the back. Who wanna hear that? Friend, you see Journey? That baby gonna split the piss out you. I know Journey was about ten pounds. She came. <laughs> Ask Ma how big Journey was when she came. I know she was about ten pounds. You can't tell me she wasn't. <laughs> bitch, Journey. Y'all know Journey three. Ask them how. Ask them what they know. How old Journey is. I don't think they know. Show them a picture of Journey Lee. Journey Lee the same age. Show them a picture of Journey Lee on the no, side. First of all, you see Journey Daddy? It's a little boy. Uh, yeah. uh, Leah Daddy? Girl, Journey was uh, 60. And it's Leah, three. This high. Jamal 6'6. Six, six. His shirt supposed to be big. You girl, Leah you Daddy 6'2. That's your problem. What is that? You having babies with them little niggas. I, I repeat, you want to say it again? Girl, please. Lou a buck two when he went. Girl, Lou is six two. I'm talking about his weight, bitch, not his and height. Six feet. I'm talking about his weight, not his height. That boy paper thin. No, he's not. Still paper thin. He is. But Trey gonna be about six three. It ain't my fault, Ma, big as a motherfucker. All this shirt ain't come out three years old when the six feet. That's nothing there. <laughs> All right. Motherfucking <laughs> nuts. <laughs> 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 not that nice. That's enough. Let's let let's stop. Flag on the plate, bitch. Bitch, my baby ain't malnourished, bitch. We don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Look it. <laughs> what a pen is. <laughs> Don't eat. Because she's going to be hungry. Yeah, that's why she's fucking paper thin. I'm baby got a pop belly just like a pole. That's what you Little legs with little arms, little head, little nose, little everything. Lil everything. 
going you gonna say he was big on journey? <laughs> Leave my baby alone, bitch. <laughs> you know you don't know who she is. I don't want to hear shit with Jordan Mama walk up and punch the fuck out you because you don't know who that is. Punch who? No, no, not friend. Don't do that. Not friend. Now why you going too far now? Let's tell you went too far. You, you about to cause a whole war. Don't do that. You don't even know how that girl look. Now you about to cause a whole war. Now, now you know. Now you know I know how that girl look. Don't cause no whole war on this line. Don't, don't do that, friend. <laughs> but sure, let's talk about something else. <laughs> Come on now, so just call people ass up, pick you in. Right? All right, say that. That's say that now. That what you should have said. I have to deal with it from both ends. Now I say more, friend. Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> say more, say more. Where's the ketchup? Yeah, where's the ketchup? I catch up and body slam your ass. Here that probably should be a fast thing, bitch. Nigga say, my daddy. <laughs> You think Ma was going with y'all ass in that pool? Now she really looked up at looked up at his big ass. <laughs> and did. <laughs> and definitely did. What you doing today? You cooking? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make some steak for me. But I made some steak and um some rice for me. Um, yesterday was it yesterday no the other day. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it okay. It's so so good. Oh my god. Ooh. What about the game night? Girl, you don't feel like playing games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but y'all feel like my little fucking game. When you gonna play the Oculus? When you gonna play? When I finish cooking? This for hell take that long to make pork and beans and rice? You been cooking for a while now. Pork and beans and rice? This is souffle, bitch. Stop playing. <laughs> Why you put your dukes up at me? That was me whooping, bitch. That's whooping the pot. Oh, well, you whooped it wrong. So I'm the bitch about to be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> like, you about to fight. <laughs> I'm about to fight them pots. Bitch. Don't some say you don't make poker beans right. Don't be all like that, bitch. Bitch. I'm just... You act like you making fucking red beans. Bitch, how long you take? <laughs> now, you know, gotta put the on. <laughs> gotta hook it up. Oh, my gosh. Bro, what's how we getting our feet done tomorrow? Um, Early. I'm gonna get, uh... I need my nails done. So you need your nails done? Oh, no, yeah. yeah. I need my nails done, but I don't want the nail shop to do it. Cartina did my nails. So I'm going to have to do it over. Oh. I don't want them to shave my nails down. I really like how Cartina did my nails. And it's still on. Yeah, Cartina, dog. I just wish she could do feet. Yeah. To be honest, I don't like, um, I don't like my people doing my feet. Hmm? I, I don't like my people doing my feet. Why? I never had a good outcome from from like I, I think I had like five five people. I never had really had like a good outcome. I was been dissatisfied with it. I've never had a good well. I've never gotten them done by anybody, but you know. You don't try having black people do your feet. No. You should try it. Try it a few times and let me know what you think. A few times. First of all, now you know I like wasting money, so don't tell me try. You gonna pay for? Her? Okay, I'll pay for it so you can see. Cause I want you to experience it. Cause I don't want you to judge judge from what I said, but but I really don't. Mm -hmm. Like coming from a, a a person who loves shopping with my black community, I really don't like when, when black people do my feet. To be honest. Well, I feel like now I'm giving. Huh? Huh? Feel like now I'm be giving the right massages. Massage, bitch. I don't get my new massage. Oh, I do. I can't go nowhere without getting my feet massaged. I ain't gotta get my feet. Can't get fucking massage my, my feet. I'm talking about like, like the actual, the act, like the way they treat the feet. Like, like they don't treat the callus right. Like they don't like everything. 
Like they don't do the. I don't know. It it just don't be treated correctly. Okay. Well, we they go through it so fast. Like I they don't want to be there. I mean, I don't know nobody that excited to touch nobody's feet, bro. Yeah, people that do feet. <laughs> it's not about being excited. It's about actually doing the job correctly. No, I get what you're saying. Go ahead. They, they, they really don't. They really don't get into it like they, they don't. They don't. Well, where can I go, where can I go to get somebody to so I can get mine done so I can see what you're talking about? Oh, I got a few places for you. That's all they do. All they care about is putting that damn, putting that damn um acrylic on your damn big toe, and that nail polish. That's it. That's all they care about. Most of them don't do it. Yeah, like they don't do every. Like they really care about. They only care about the art of the nail. Like they don't care about the actual treatment of the feet. Right. And that's what really matters. This is true. Cause I don't want to leave, bitch, and I still got all this callus on my feet. So where we gonna go tomorrow? Yeah, we can go tomorrow. But I'm not playing with my feet for essence, bitch. I really like my feet done. Huh? Yeah, we go tomorrow. What time you wanna go? Um. Let's... You went. You at your Gonzalez house, huh? I've been in B Freak before. And I'm gonna say again, I, I, I tried five times. Come oh, Huh? You at your Gonzalez house, huh? No. Well, who think? Educated on how to. <laughs> they're not. That's the thing. Like they don't be, like they be feeling like just because they know how to do nails, they know how to do feet. Like even when you go in nail shops and by the agents, like everybody who do nails don't do feet. Everybody who do feet don't do nails. This is true. Everybody who do acrylic don't do dip powder. Everybody who do, who do dip powder don't do gel. Like, like they do different things. Definitely not mind about that. They all specify, like, they all do different things. And different things. So yeah. You're, you're not lying about that. Man, I'm really mad I got no ketchup. What you need ketchup for them? Hot dogs? You got to throw in the moon? For my Pokemon. Oh, that was. <laughs> Bitch, you <laughs> If you mad, you cooking. Um, if you mad, you cooking. It just say that. No, I'm not mad. I'm cooking it. That's what my man asked for. He left my Pokemon sorry and fried chicken. Oh, you making fried chicken too? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Let me ask first, bit. Oh, bitch, you can't have none. Go cook your steak. They shouldn't be doing all what to the feet. What they shouldn't be doing all what to the feet? Taking care of the feet? Pampering the feet? Like, what they shouldn't be doing to the feet? Y'all don't start now, please. <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand. Please don't start them. Ooh, and, do and dually sausage and grilled onions be so good in pork meals. I mm -hmm. love the new sausage and pork meat. I don't got no cousin named Elder. I used to my Brittany. A cousin named who? Elder, A L D A. You talking about you then? I don't like bell, bell, bath bonds. I don't like nothing going to my cat. Ain't no, um, ain't no bath water. Unless it's the penis. Yes, yeah, Who are you trying to sell bath bombs? Hmm. I don't know who that is. Nobody want that shit. Bath bombs came out. I'm like, I don't know why people is sitting there pussy in bath bombs. <laughs> Throwing off the pH balance. Yeah, man. They thought that shit was cute. 
Let me now go send some root beer. They thought that she was cute till they got out that bitch and smelled their fish. What is it? This boy told me he ran me bath water. I was so excited, man. I got in that bitch's boy a dish detergent and bubble bath. Bitch, I said I know. No, <laughs> oh, the level of piss. Girl, the kicked out. Man, I did. I'm like, don't you stupid? Why would you? Bitch, why am I here smelling like a plate? <laughs> Not a plate. I mean, it smells like a dishwasher, bitch. Oh. Boy, the candles hit and everything. Well, I'm about to tell up a Zam Super Buy page to change that page to me and your page. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Girl. Bitch, that's me and your page, girl. You're the only person I like going live with. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, so I remember when you first started getting on Instagram, like when you really started, like really, really started really being on Instagram. I said, so you got to really show your personality more. You funny as a motherfucker. So when we first, when Instagram became like such a big thing and you knew what it was, like you knew how to like draw that traffic, get that yeah, attention. No, that, I had that bitch in the chokehold, you hear me? So bitch, <laughs> bitch was a pull out. I used to be like, ah, bitch, don't put me on that. Come on, man. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Follow me. I'm like, why? Bitch, you don't post nothing. Like, your page boring. I'm like, I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm your partner. What do you mean? That was so serious. He was so serious. He kept saying that, friend, you really show your personality. I'm like, bitch. But I thought you meant, because you know, like, you used to do skits on here. Like, I barely did skits, though, friend. Mm -hmm. I did skits years ago. So I used to do the little crazy ghetto girl with the, with the, with the deep big that eyes. Was 2013. Yeah, but that's when Instagram and social media started really taking off, is what I'm saying. So when you telling me that I need to show my personality, I'm thinking you want me to be in that. I era. told you to show your personality in 2015, bro. <laughs> that was that was I wasn't I wasn't telling you to do that stupid shit. I wasn't doing that stupid shit no more. That's when I first started um story time in 2013. My first story time was um was with Project Rufy. It was a fake story time. Um, with that, um, it was, it was a skit. Yeah, I remember. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I resonated with. Because after watching you, you know, do that, I'm like, bitch, I'm not about to be up here with no character. Right. Like Rufus and Ethel. I'm like, bitch, that's why I see your personality, bitch. How he's talking about like not just like being in somebody's business but if people are talking about how they feel about about um anything like business about trump about fucking them going out of fucking stock on all of, like look i'm about to bring back two tvs fuck y'all we're not selling we're not selling fat screens no more like you talk about that bitch i don't want no fucking Bitch, I don't want a tube TV like that, like stuff like that. Like you showing your personality like that. Like it don't gotta be about your personal life. A lot of people show their personality, uh, and they don't talk about their life at all. They just talk about about like what's going on in the world today. Like, and it don't gotta be about nobody's business. It's just about what's trending in the world. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, like same thing with the verses. Like what's going on with the verses? When you was telling me that, that's what I resonated with. Like, right. Like, and that's why I was like, uh-huh, bitch, I ain't got time for that. Bitch, I had blue time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I'm that's what I told you. Bitch, you had nothing up again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Besides you working at fucking, um, at Harris. You had time for it. <laughs> bitch, I ain't got time for that. I gotta go deliver drinks, so. <laughs> That's more important. I'm like, fuck, this all got time. 
That's why I used to do fuck. I gave my opinion on everything. You hear me? Bitch, I had white. I had um oh bitch I had so many I had story time with super I had X X super bitch I had so many hashtags girl I still got all them hashtags bitch I just started deleting um a lot of them things on my page so I can clear my page because I had too many posts on my page but I used to do everything on here that's when I used to be doing all the cursing and all that like I I tried to stop doing that because Instagram got so fucking sensitive. Wow, so I used to watch fucking Love and Hip Hop every fucking Monday and talk about all the moves. <laughs> Cooking was super. Yes, bitch. I used to talk about all the moves. <laughs> I used to talk about every last one of them moves, bitch. When I say every last one of them, bitch, every last one of them. That's you know what why the, I started. Huh? That's, the, that's the same concept I have when it comes down to reality TV. That's why I don't want to do reality TV. Yeah. Re the thing is, I, I I don't think normal people know what reality TV is. Reality TV is for is for people who, and and this is not to shade shade anybody, but reality TV is for people who um they get on reality TV and they brand themselves, right? They brand themselves, they start a business, and they use the reality TV to promote the business. If you notice, anybody who's ever been on reality tv they probably did some shit back in the g and um they probably went ghost for a while or they probably was behind the scenes or they probably was on site someone and um and then like they want to branch off on their own then they get on reality tv and then they come out with their own business and then their business flourish because they're on reality TV. right and they and they use reality tv to, to brand and market themselves that's what reality tv is for reality tv is not for somebody who's already branded you exactly. already brand like you already, you know, like you already, you already a flourishing entrepreneur. There's no need for you to go on oh, to go on reality TV. That's why it never made sense for me to go on reality TV. But I already made it. I don't gotta be on reality, you know. So, right. Um, yeah. So that's what that's what reality is. Yeah, it, that's what it is. It, it, it's like a launcher pad. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Some of the people that I, that I see on there now, I am like, why are you doing it? Like, aren't you? Aren't the you did it because. Cause that's how the Kardashians started it. That's the thing. The, the smart thing about the Kardashians is the Kardashians did it themselves. They didn't do it under nobody else's platform. The Kardashians did that themselves. Like it's, yeah, it's when it, oh, they only had one season. They only had one season. Like that, they pilot was only for one season. Right. They, they did it themselves. Like, like that is their show. Like it's not, you know, it's something like that is that whole show is about them. It's not about nobody else, but them. And this was like they started that show after that that damn flick thing came out. Right. So that is about that is about them. And again, Judy show is about Judy. Judy is not on a show with nobody else. Judy is not on a show with five other women talking about their lives. Judy is on a show about her and her her and her wife. So right. that's what makes it different. Like it's not about like you're not on a show with five other girls fighting about what's going on in your life. It, right. That's what makes it different. Yeah, yeah, Cardi B got on. I, I, I felt like Cardi B did it did it very right. Cardi B got on reality TV. She did what she did. She was she was on it for a year, got the fuck off, and she blew the fuck up even more. She used it as a laundry pad and got up and left. She did it exactly how the fuck she's supposed to do it. Right. All right, y'all. We said what we said. We don't need all these examples. Go ahead. Right. Some people use it as a a, a, a launching tool. Some people use it as, as as a marketing tool. Right. Judy has her own show. None of them people y'all talking about have their own show. And if y'all know Judy, Judy's the queen of marketing. Yes. Judy's definitely used it for marketing well, tactics.
This used to be fun there. Questions of Super. Oh, new people used to be crazy. Well, they used to be so question. serious too. Oh. That chicken roll. I'm gonna Ooh, get some more of them. Oh, oh, you're not. Who's in the comments? Personality. What's the girl say? How do I show my personality? What's a good starting point? I don't know. <laughs> Have a personality? Are you um? Are you sociable? It depends if you're sociable. Because if you're not sociable, it's see. Brittany is sociable, so it, it was kind of easy for. She like Brittany kept saying she she can't do it she wouldn't do it it's not her, but she's already a sociable person so I, I that's why I'm not going to pitch this to, to somebody who's not personable if you're not personable I know for a fact you can't be, I mean if you're not sociable I know for a fact that that you can't be, that you can't show your personality. I mean you gotta have a personality to show, you know. Jamal is personable. I force his out. Jamal is definitely not personable. And he be drove. Fuck be big man. He don't like he don't like Instagram. He really don't. He hate it. Yes, girl. He gotta show he gotta express it every time. I be like, people ain't ask you. Nobody yep. asked you. I wonder why he hated though. Because he just don't like to be the butt of a joke and he want to control his narrative of what's said and what's done. I think people draw to us because we were organic too. I agree. Huh? Which is crazy because the ball was a car salesman for like 10 years. Confused there. You know what we want. <laughs> he really is. Wait, you ain't raising right your own vows? Yeah, I am. I don't know, raising them. I am. Jamal said he wasn't, and I'm like, nah, you are. You better. Why not? Cause he don't, he don't, he, he, he feel public speaking. He like, he's not that type of person that, you know, talk in front of a whole bunch of people. I say, yeah, but when your ass That's what Razor said too. Razor said, um, I, so I saw Razor. So when I had that Eastern, um, that, that Eastern booking, when I had to talk to the, um, to the entrepreneur class at Eastern, it was a lot of, um, I think it was, we had to talk to like 10 students. But four of them was already entrepreneurs, right? Which was pretty dope. And um, and I think one of them was asking about property. And I told Razor to come. I told Razor to come talk to him because Razor did more in the property world than me. I own property, but Razor made more moves in property, as far as um, you know, flipping and selling and all that. And and, and I haven't done it yet, right? So I told Razor to talk to him, and the way Razor articulated himself, he sounded really good. So after the book, and I asked him, I'm like, um, "You ever thought about Kino speaking?" And he was like, "Nah, I can't do that." I'm like, "You just did." <laughs> and um, and he was like, "Nah, like I can't really see myself talking in front of um a lot of people." And I'm like, "Well, you just did it in front of ten. You know, if you can do it in front of ten, then you can, then you can do it in front of hundred. You know." So um, so I was telling him that the way he and then like he really have a great. He have a really great vocabulary, right? And mm -hmm. I was telling him how um, I don't really, not saying I don't see it. I probably, it probably just don't kind of be on my timeline or, or it probably just don't be on my radar. But I don't really see a lot of keynote speaking men, right? I see a few on my timeline. Like I follow a few, but um, 
but I don't see enough. I'm gonna say that. Now I do see a lot of pastors, and I do see a lot of um, I do see a lot of Christians. I do, but far as when it comes to business and when it comes to um all that, I don't see enough of powerful keynote speaking men. Leave huh? Leave your eye alone. I'm listening. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I don't see enough men. Um, not only that, but when we even when we do see men, we see too many women in the crowd, right? We don't see enough men in the crowd listening to the men, like right? Like we don't see enough, like and and you know the men don't listen to us, and the men don't listen to the niggas neither. So that's the crazy part, right? So um, so I was telling him, I'm like, I feel like you should, you should hold up. I was telling him I feel like he should keynote speak and he should kind of like get up, break out that fear because um the way he articulates himself and the way he um the way he's able to talk in front of of the crowd I feel like it's great and they'll be grateful what he's trying to do and um by him being in entrepreneurship that's a whole different bag keynote speaking is a whole different bag and and I don't think he even understand that like that's a whole different bag that you gotta set up a whole different business for. Like if you, if you, if you, if you, I think that Jamal said that he don't, he have a, a, a he's not comfortable with speaking in front of people. But when he talks about, I mean, you know, Jamal got a whole degree. But when he talk about shit he know about, he don't like, and that's the passionate. Issue. They think they think that oh, I can't speak in front of a lot of people. But when you're talking about something you know about, that's not a problem. You can sit up here in front of me, all my family, your family. And when I'm telling you something and I'm wrong, or you're going to tell me I'm wrong, you're going to show me I'm wrong, you're going to give me Google different fucking bullet points on how I'm wrong, you're going to spoke for all these motherfucking people. Right. <laughs> Why are you so fucking stupid? Because it's like, how are you? You got a fear of public speaking. With the thing, like he, with the thing, he spoke, he articulated himself properly because he knew what he was talking about. And that's the easiest thing. When you know what you're talking about, that confidence kick in and it's like, okay, well, it does. I say this because I know what I'm talking about and can't nobody challenge it. I'm not afraid to say what I'm saying because can't nobody challenge it because I know what I'm talking about. I know that I'm right. He definitely speaks well. And he definitely have a great vocabulary as well. He do. But all I said that to say this, he writing his own Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that was just what it was about. Um, I did not decline. Um, uh, well, I'm lying. I did decline to attend the BT Awards because they asked me two days before. What the fuck? They um, they asked me to attend two days before. Fine. Whichever was that was on Thursday. On um, which award was on Thursday? On oh, not the BT. Oh, I'm which award was on Thursday? I think it was the Hip Hop Awards. I don't know. Frown keep up with all that. I don't know why she. He wrote, he wrote that point. He wrote that poem for you. And he wrote it, but he didn't, but he didn't read it though. So that's different. No, no, no. He didn't write that poem. He gave the he gave his feelings to someone who created it. Oh yeah, yeah. Nigel wrote it. But the, all of those was his words, his expressions. Like it was, it was very detailed and directly about us, and, and explained um, our our history. Like it was, di you know, directly towards us. But he didn't write it. But it wasn't meant for him to read it out loud. It was for me to read it out loud because the ending was for me to say, you know, it was like my child talking to me, and then I say it say he wanted to know. Well, I'll let him ask you. So that's how he ha it had to be set up like that. Mm. Which was so crazy, because listen, even when he was like, you love the poem? I said, yeah, I loved it. And he was like, yeah, I ain't right. I'm like, this just fucked it up for me, bro. Oh, man, niggas can't do that. <laughs> Jamal don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jamal don't give a fuck. He was like, yeah, I just was, you know, telling, telling Nigel how I felt. And, you know, he put it in words. I'm like, okay, well, you're going to do that with your vibes. 
<laughs> and you gonna put it in the fucking word. Like... So make sure you have Nigel there. Boy, yeah, man. I mean, I don't necessarily trip over people. People who are authors don't write their books. Right. They don't. So, they just they just give you what the word and they, and they put it in words. Formulated and put it in right. I already checked the chicken. The chicken is out, my baby. Oh, give me more, friend. You got all eggs? This is my house. You know that small yeah. I'm talking about? No, you ain't got to go that far, friend. I was playing. I won't in my small house. I actually love your small house. I feel like it's perfect for your family. Girl, mother, girl, I'm about to tell you something. When you can stick it, all of it. Make my man a plate of food. Fuck them legs, bitch! I don't give a fuck about them legs, Brittany. Nobody eat no motherfucking legs, bitch. If I wanted a drum, I would have went to a major rec concert, bitch. I don't want no motherfucking legs, hoe. I eat thighs and wings, bitch. The real parts of the chicken. And then ain't Lil, you stupid Lil chicken eating bitch. Mm. Why the big legs at, hoe? Why your type of legs at, bitch? I don't want them little bit ass journey legs, bitch. I want the big legs. <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that? That fucking chicken good, girl. I don't give a fuck if it's a leg. I don't give a fuck if it's an elbow. Good. <laughs> the rat be good. Fuck the season. I know to go in the small ass leg. Right now, don't say. <laughs> don't say small no more, bitch. If you say small, I'm a bad to piss off. <laughs> Don't say small when you're talking to me. Okay, I'm sorry. This one even need the S sound. I'm so mean. She retarded. She always going up like that. <laughs> Not she always going up like that. Oh fuck! I ain't never downloaded the um the Captain Gates album. I thought about that this week. Yeah, it was the um. I say one thing, bitch. We getting a chef next time. We just gotta get a chef with litter. Agreed. Agreed. Nigga <laughs> says your mom went super had a fit about the chef. <laughs> That's what they say exactly. Did I tell y'all that? And then definitely had to pay about that ship. I was mad about that ship. And then, then get the like, everything we had out there was big food. Exactly. We get that. Then, then she don't want to cook. So we got all the food and cook. And we out there big hungry. Big starving. I'm like, who cooking? You should be the bitch who asked for not to have a ship. Wipe yeah. the camera. Yeah, I found my chicken hole. Is this brick? Who is you? Who are you? Can I both answer that? Did you see my name on my page? The BET Awards. Should I have been stopped watching BET Awards? Girl, people stop being stop going to the BT Awards.
Leave that. Let me bring my man to sleep. Girl, I love them this way. This not for no six six man. I gotta bring two. I love them. it. Make me drink less. I don't know how to walk up. I don't know how to walk up and know what the fuck that last spray from all the same. Bring me what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> it always made me drink drink less of them. Hey, boo. What up? I don't know, bitch. I just hey. <laughs> oh, why you had that pretty? I don't know. It's not somebody who was in. I said it to you. Fuck, oh, I got. I don't know. Now see, you need to fuck it up, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany shows the play, Brittany. Noodles and macaroni to pork and beans. Uh, I'm not saying uh, cause it might be good, but uh. We never been to BC or so, so what, what you mean we didn't want to go this year? We never been. I mentor everybody every week who join my GoFundMe team. Every week, personally. No. That nigga waited to the housekeeper scam the next day. You know he dirty. Oh. We are not watching BC Wars. Y'all can go watch it and come back when it go up. I know. They keep, they keep announcing it. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, it's not even open nobody. They won't go watch it. They never vote for nobody. People that win awards, I'm sure. But you ready to go come announce with him? Come on, friend. Big old. I can't believe bitch you're still doing that. Oh my God, that's so busy. Bitch, you hard up for people to come in your life. <laughs> oh, to my, my, I ain't got my hair breathing. My edge is doing something. They're coming back real good. Who joined the live? You got a question, Mom? Raise your hand. You got to send a live report. Damn, I'll leave a live report. Hold on. Let's see. If you got a stupid picture up there, I ain't picking you. Bitch. <laughs> they be them bots. They be up there beating me, girl. I ain't got time for that. Oh, and I ain't never seen nobody beat me. Now, they definitely be sending dick pictures. I don't know. I don't trust the people that's in there. <laughs> Looking at a little flaky, friend. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Let me see. All right, now, bitch. All right, just add one. There's a dick. I don't want it in there. Let me see. All right. All right. Hold on till you see. Hold on till you see. I promise it's not. It's not. <laughs> All right. How are you doing, boo? I'm good. How are y'all? Fine. I'm queen over here. All right. Listen, because that chicken look good. 
so small, girl. So small. <laughs> well, I just I do have a question, um, a business question too. So I own um, Classic Cookies, which Hold is on, a which company. Your what's your email so I can send my invoice? Oh yeah, bitch. Yeah, send it right over. Info girl, go, go, go. Baby, don't count my money. No, listen. don't listen to her, friend. Don't listen to her, yeah. friend. <laughs>
I will definitely send that package. Just let me know where to send it to. Me. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Too sweet. Yeah, she was. Why are you so fucking stupid, you dumb bitch? I did. You got my fucking nerves. I have the next person, stupid. No, what I did. I have the next person, you ugly bitch. You're not gonna tell me. You're not gonna tell me, gonna tell me what I did. <laughs> I was being cool. I started cleaning my house. <laughs> you ain't move out the camera. His mouth small. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, you, you. <laughs> Renee. Brittany, I miss you, Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Who next, girl? Oh. That's what I was asking you. You want me to pin that person? I unpinned it now, though. No, no, no. You ain't got to pin nothing for me. Thank you, though, I appreciate you. Yes, it is. Go find the team with my mentorship. Why would I be at the wars? What do I got to do with the BT wars? Oh, Lord. Hello? Uh-uh. Look like he about to put his dick on the screen. <laughs> trust that. Master. That's too far. My bad. You show, you say you show my personality, bitch. I'm gonna block. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey boo. What you doing, girl? In the kitchen cooking. What you cooking? Um, I put some wings in the oven. Girl, what kind of wings, girl? Cause we just had a whole problem. <laughs> some jerk chicken wings. They small like Brittany's? Nah, they flat. Oh. How would you answer that? You know, Brittany had the small wings. They flat. <laughs> What's going on? Not much. Um, I didn't even. I wasn't even expecting this. <laughs> oh. oh. How long y'all been friends? Um, since two thousand. What was seven? B a six seven? Um, I don't know. We including the time where I got jumped and didn't do nothing. Oh, Bitch, I was not your friend. Then. You knew me. I was not your friend, Brittany. You knew me. I was not your friend. I knew of you. I didn't know you. You knew me. I knew of you. I knew I, I knew of you because of Shell. I was you not cared, your friend. You cared enough to ask if I was okay. Because I knew of you because of Shell. You cared enough to ask huh? if I was okay. I said keep it hot. I knew of that hoe because her brother was a famous bounce artist in the city. And she used to always be with him at the skate rink. And I said, oh, that chef sister, she getting jumped by 15 hoes. And I wanted to know, was she okay? So me and my old friend said, are you all right? And she said she was fine in a buck up manner. So it looked like she was fine to me. And then a few months later, I seen the hoe at my new school. So I said, oh, this hoe go to my school. <laughs> so boom, there we go. And then after the storm, we became friends. So, yes, we became friends after she got jumped, when we became grown. So, we was friends in 2007.
She got jumped in 2000. So you five three? Because I was Shav's little sister. That's how I knew of you. That means you ain't give a fuck about Shav. Let's talk about <laughs> Bitch, I didn't. I didn't even know Shab. I didn't know Shab person was the jumper for you, bitch. You always talk about how much you love Shab. You made you made dances for his music, all that shit. Then, then, but I ain't about jumping for no. Bitch, I ain't about to jump in the water for his sister for buying fifteen. Oh, buying fifteen Arborville hoes. Y'all, I started this. My bad. Arborville, the Arbor. You weren't even in the fight at first. Yeah, I ain't shoot. And you had no reason up in it. Do nothing. I came out the door and my friend was getting jumped. I wasn't night. your friend, Brittany. <laughs> <Why? laughs> I wasn't your friend. Now she's not your friend, Brit. I wasn't her friend then. <laughs> you, a fan, you a fan of Beyonce? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so if you see Blue Ivy getting jumped, you gonna help that bitch, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, just on the strand. So if you are a fan of my brother, you make song, you make dances to his music, <laughs> the same ring cutting up, doing all this stupid ass shit. <laughs> ha! His little sister jumped by 15. Five, 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 four. So, Frank, hold on, hold on. Think about it, Frank. Think about it. We didn't know that was you under that pile. Remember that? How you know it's me? You were just saying, I we didn't know that was you. You literally. What? Because you said that. You said you walked out and you jumped in. Hey, because you said, because you said you walked out for you, for you, you, you said that first. You, you said that first. Yeah. Because once we became friends, you started telling us the beginning of the story. You told us, you, you bitch was coming out the grave. Was in the lobby, you walked out, but you saw you gave somebody your purse, your glasses, and you jumped in the fight. We, when you came out the pile, we saw it was you. You was flimsy, you but you was walking, you was walking all the way. Like, 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 no, like, was flimsy. <laughs> you was walking all then, then we saw you, it was you. We did not know that was you under the pile, friend. We just oh, thought you was getting drunk. You, friend, when we became friends, you, you like you told us the beginning of the story. We only knew that you was you under the pile. When you came under the pile, we saw like, damn, that's Shab, sister. Huh? So when you, when you got up, you was flimsy. We thought you was drunk. Not you was flimsy. And then we asked you, was you okay? Because like, that, that, that's Shab, sister. Huh? It was like, yeah, it was like, you all right? I'm good. I'm okay. I'm with I'm like, oh, okay, she's good. <laughs> so what you want to do? Let me tell you something. I, I, I said you didn't do fight because you because I said you didn't do fight because you said you jumped in the fight as years as years progressed. You said you jumped in the fight for your friend. That's how I knew you had nothing to do with the fight. You said you walked out the grain, jumped in the fight. So that means you wasn't a part of the fight when the fight started. Which means you could have stayed your ass in the grain and act like you weren't there. No, I'm not you. I don't look at people getting jumped and act like I ain't there. Okay, so originally you just jumped in the fight. That wasn't your fight. No, that was my fight. My best friend was fighting. It was jumping her first. It, it was her fight. Okay. She it was her fight. It was my her. fight. My best friend. First of all, Kobe Iron was this size and short. So when Agreed. I walk out and I see 20 on my friend, I took oh. it as my responsibility to take at least, I was really trying to take like eight of them holes. I ain't no 50. <laughs> Oh, it was not. Oh, is it? But I couldn't. But you don't know, take any of the holes by yourself. You was. You know what I'm saying? you was, friend. P they kept adding to the pile. <laughs> once, once they, once they jumped you, more holes kept coming to that pile. They kept coming. I don't, I don't think you noticed how more feet kept surrounding. I don't think you noticed that part. So we noticed that. They kept surrounding. You know what? You talking about Kobe was 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 this bitch? You was this. 
at the time. So both of y'all was big small, so you jumping in. <laughs> big small. Bitch was like two pieces. Up in no kind of way. I was saying I was flimsy. Right. <laughs> you looked a bit drunk when you got up. Bitch, you couldn't even stand up all the way. You had an arch in your back and everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I definitely want to jump in. I didn't know who the fuck you was down there until you got up. What you mean, jumping? <laughs> Even if I didn't know you was, I still want to jump in the middle. Bitch, I want to jump in. Listen, I can't even lie. When I walked out that door, you know I had buku time. Anytime I gave somebody my shades. Oh, y'all be hating. And, 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 and all of that. Like, bitch, I walked that door and saw them holes. I was like, fuck. Did you, you start running across the street? Man, you saw him running across the street back to the Arborville? Them old barefoot and everything. Ooh, it, bitch, it, bitch, it, bitch, they left all their shoes in the ground. If you getting jumped barefoot, that's a good fight. Ooh. Ma'am? Olivia. Olivia, let me tell you something. Talk to me. You would have brought your half ass on here and started a whole problem, man. <laughs> you could have asked us any fucking thing. <laughs> you want to go to our French. You know that that's a sensitive subject, honey. <laughs> she feel like she right now. I feel like I'm right. I feel like in a Super, uh, why you getting uh, me in uh, And helped. But friends, this is You just you just thought of you with me and my partner. I know. Who I know. Who this is? Come on. I know it though. You like the question face? I chose. I chose the remote. No hold on, y'all. Bitch, you're childish. Oh. Don't Olivia go mess with, uh, uh, uh. Stabler, bitch. Hmm? Don't Olivia go find Stabler. Exactly. Go okay, get a glass of wine. Now, girl, see? And then asked it. What? But it's okay, oh. It's okay, oh. It's all right. What was the question? That was my question that Miss Olivia had asked. I had posted it down there in the comments before she had asked it, and then y'all had took her live. But it's okay. I like y'all bonnets. I like that. Uh, Thank you. I feel like I joined y'all bonnet gang. <laughs> what question it was? How long have you been friends? My question was, how long have y'all been friends? That was my question. 
since oh. 07. <laughs> and I got that. I got that, but oh, I was seven. still listening to the question, you know what I'm saying, and the answer that. after that. And I'm just glad that I didn't start the feud. Shit. <laughs> I don't let me say nothing. Good. Good, because don't let, don't let Brittany tell you nothing different, girl. It's all good. Brittany, let me get some of that chicken. I'll take a bite of the small chicken. Super. I, I hear you with the big chicken, but right now, the way she fucking that up, I'll take a bite of the small chicken. Okay? Yeah, man, watch this. <laughs> people do it. They criticize other people's food, because they ain't got nothing. I'm starving. I get you. And I'm hella hungry right now. I'm in California. When I tell you I'm hot and fucking hungry, I'm sitting here trying to figure my shit out right now. Just so because of you. The first girl in the car, like, yeah, she's like, she burning up. I am. I was in here smoking weed, though. I was in the car smoking. Right. What part of Cali you live in? I'm in the V. I'm in the Bay. Okay, okay. Ooh. My family. My family from the Bay. I got a cousin. Yeah. Oh, for real? My cousin Lulu. Miss she on the what they do. Lulu. Like what they do. They do hair, they do what they do. They sell they they, they do makeup, they sell some weed, what they do. She in the military. Oh, okay. She's straight. Oh, who know my cousin Lulu? Girl, that sounds like a dog, bitch, first of all. <laughs> her name is Bluebell and we call her Lulu. That definitely sounds like a dog. <laughs> nah, I don't know her. I don't know oh, her. My cousin bat the piss out of you. I remember Lulu smack Shab. Uh, oh. Shell should have bit that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Not Lulu, but I guess definitely give me Chihuahua. Fuck. <laughs> Not Chihuahua. Right now, right now, right now. Ah. You know your name, Raynell, and your daddy name ain't Ray? My daddy name is Birdell. You know exactly. your daddy, you know your name, Brittany, and you don't know who your daddy is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about my daddy was hella ghetto and named me my mama and my daddy name together? Oh, that's normal, girl. That's normal in the black community. <laughs> I mean, it's normal, but it's like, come on now. You you could have gave me some original. They gave me DeAndrea, Derek, and Andrea. Come on now. Come on now. They play. It's not. They play. Huh? It's not horrible. No, but it's definitely about... horrible. I think it's cute. No. It's cute, right? But how about my, my middle name? How about Ladrick? Y'all heard that one? Ladrick? Uh, what does Ladrick mean? I didn't ask my daddy for 35 years. My, my mama had a C-section, and apparently when she woke up, he already named me and signed the birth certificate. <laughs> so I have no idea. Well, I, 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 I have no idea. Lisa, dad, was that a sign? It? Mine what? <laughs> I mean, okay. I'll take that shit then, Super. Fuck, Lisa, was there. Oh, no, don't be complaining. Fuck, my daddy. Daddy, my daddy, daddy. Daddy. Initially, my name my name was supposed to be Brandy because my daddy name is Randy. He didn't show up, so my mama changed it and put it. <laughs> that, that lady petty. <laughs> my best friend named Brittany, too, though. So I feel like Super, me and your birthday on the same day, too. And my best friend named Brittany. Oh, it's a good joke. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Girl Monique on um on Monique on curse us out with these buying his own. Shit is Sunday. Okay, I'm getting my rest for I gotta go to work tomorrow with these people. Girl Monique, that part. you saying we should not buy it. Bye, Monique. I'm at the house chilling. <laughs> I'm trying to see why I can't see my you have a question, uh drink girl. Uh, oh, shit, no, nah, I ain't got no question. I just, I thank y'all for letting me be on here. I love y'all. Because the girl before me asked my question that I had, okay? All right, Queen, we love you too. Thank you for joining. Okay, Queen. Hey. I like that. Uh, yeah, her energy was dope. Yeah, I like the energy. I love, um, Cali people asking. I'm gonna get my food real quick. I just added somebody to the live, so... Oh, man, come on here, trying to penis. I'm out of I was not expecting this. Hey, what's going on? Hey, all right. This is so crazy. Hi, how are you all? I was denying. Are you cinnamon rolls? Oh, uh -huh. cinnamon rolls? I like cinnamon rolls. Uh, uh, besties and bonnets. Besties and bonnets. Besties and bonnets.
business. How do you start? So, um, well, with me in the beginning, when I knew I wanted to, well, my first business, I was selling, um, I'm going to say my first legitimate business as far as the LLC was, um, was me doing clothing when I was selling t-shirts. Um, that was a swap meet in the beginning. I was selling t-shirts. I was selling uh, headphones. I was selling chargers. What'd you say? <laughs> I said, I'm talking about legitimate bitch when I have my LLC. The okay. first thing was uh, when I was doing the clothes. <laughs> but then there was the, um, first, so in the beginning it was clothes, then it was the CD. But me, I'm, I'm I used to be a well, I'm still vulgar, but I'm kind of more only vulgar than online because social media has got very sensitive, so I can't really be too vulgar because I um I can risk my page getting blocked. So um so they were saying, well, you can't put a curse word on a t-shirt because it's not going to sell too much. It's that all that, right? So um so I'm like, well, fuck, I'm just gonna try it anyway because everybody has, was starting to say that that they black folks too, right? So I put I black folks on a t-shirt and I made a um I made a quarter million dollars off of just. I was putting um I block bay, um I block bay for Valentine's Day, like all type of different stuff, right? Um I was selling fanny packs, I was selling um chargers, I was selling headphones, like I was selling anything my consumers asked for. Like if they was asking for anything they wanted, I sold it. Like I literally listened to whatever my followers said. Like if they wanted me to sell something in red, if they wanted me to sell, to sell something in white, if they say, oh, I think this should be in glitter, or this should be, you should come out with something red and black, or you should come out with something, oh, look, the new four is coming out. Like, I think it should be red and white. So I'll kind of come out with something. I'll make it, like, very limited. Like, if, um, if like, a new pair of shoes is coming out, I'll put, I'll come out with, like, maybe, like, 15 shirts with red and black, and I'll come out with a flyer with the, that's paired with the shoes so they can see, like, this shirt goes with the shoes, Right. So they can kind of like sell faster. So when people get the shoes, they'll buy the shirt too, right? So um, it was just like kind of like a marketing strategy. And then I'll take a picture. I'll go buy the shoes. I'll take a picture with it before it come out. And then um, I'll, I'll take pictures with it and I'll post it, right? So that's that's how I started. But it was just me just kind of just selling something that was personal to me. And then with the makeup, it was just me on live doing my makeup. Um, me teaching myself because I was getting booked so much and I didn't know how to um, to find all these MUAs in all these different cities and then finding them and then trying to keep up with their prices. Their prices kept changing so much. So, um, so I said, well, let me just learn how to do my own face so I can just stop spending so much money on MUAs in all these different cities. So I learned how to do my own makeup on Periscope and, and in the beginning I was just messing my face up. And everybody thought it was funny, but as time progressed, I actually learned how to do my own makeup, right? And um, and my followers kept asking me, well, what you using? What you using? What you using? And I always felt like when my followers start asking me what I'm using, I, th I feel like I have to start selling it. Because once they ask you so many times what you're using, like let's say you always sharing what your skincare routine is, or you always sharing like like what kind of hair you using in your head, or you always sharing what you using on your eyebrows, or what lip gloss you using, or or like you love this shirt so much, and you always sharing like if they if your father's gonna keep asking you what like what you using, what you wearing, or what that or whatever, then you should start selling. Because keep asking you what you're doing, then you, you have to start selling, right? So that's what I did. So I, initially, I was only gonna come out with two products, and then I progressed to seven products. And then now we had over a hundred and some products. So that's how it came out. And I, everything else I came out with, I just listened to my, um, to my, to my followers. I listened and I felt like they, like your followers are always going to tell you what you, like what you should come out with next. Like they're going to tell you, um, what goes with something. Like if you have an eyeshadow palette, now you need brushes. If you have brushes, you need to brush them. If you have, um, 
if you have eyeshadows, then you need um, eyeliner. You need lashes. You need something like you need something that go with every product you have. If you're selling skincare, you need um, you need facial cream. If you're selling facial cream, then you need cleanser. If you're selling cleanser, you need toner. Like you need something that goes with something, right? So that's how we just started. And you gotta search for the suppliers, and you gotta you need everything. You shipping yourself. You need all the stuff that go with the stuff you gotta ship. Like you just need a lot. Like it's like you like people think it's easy, but um. You like you need to take time. Like you gotta, you gotta like really sit, relax, take time, get everything you need. Like, but it's 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 so it's it's so important to get it, and it's it's, it's gonna be so so worth the while. Like once you get it, and once you start, you're not gonna stop. Like yeah. you're just gonna be so amazed with yourself. You're gonna be so happy that you did it, and it's gonna make you keep keep going. Like you're never gonna be so tired. Like you're never gonna be so like exhausted. Like, you, like you're never gonna be mad at yourself for starting something. You're never gonna want to quit. You never ever gonna want to quit. So that's how I started. I was just so happy that stuff was going, and it never stopped for me. Like I never felt like I don't want to do this no more. I never felt like I- I'm tired. I'm aggravated because I felt like stuff just went so well for me. Like I could do more. If I did this, I could do this. If I- she asked us. Bitch, you took six hours. She and got a <laughs> <laughs> well, Brittany, you recently rebranded, like maybe a year or so ago, right? Show sure did. She rebranded. I didn't. So yeah, bitch, say it. I rebranded okay. too. I think, but I sure did. But go ahead, Brittany. Your rebranding is better than mine. I mean, you got more time on your hand because you know Nelly took up the whole thing. She got time. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to buy it on. The 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 comments gone, y'all. So we gonna, we gonna start over after. All right, so. Here's the thing. Um, in like 2018, just you know, watching pretty much black entrepreneurship become a, a like a rock or whatever. Mm-hmm. Step back and try to find my footing and see exactly where it is that I could fit in, right? Keep in mind I'm also some powerhouse women, Judy, super, who who dominated in their lane and their field. So I feel like for me, it was a level, a matter of being strategic because what the fuck I look like start selling makeup and my friend sell makeup and she the number one makeup seller, retail, whatever, you know what I mean? In that space, like they, those spaces were already taken care of, right? So um, I ended up choosing skincare because it is something that my brother would have. So it kind of just really, both of them kind of just really, both reasons kind of just really made sense. It was something that my brother was passionate about that I can get into. And on top of that, it wasn't a lane that had, it was an open lane for me or oh, whatever. So, um, I, I mean, I spent maybe like a year or so just doing research on and educating myself on skincare products. Um, while also educating myself on how to, to, uh, start a business and things like that. When I first, when I first started, I started with- Privately, well, I don't know how many of y'all know are familiar with that. Yeah, I did too. <clears throat> but it was private label, and that shit ain't do nothing. Mm-hmm. So, and when I say it didn't do nothing, meaning it was an actual product. The products were good, but they wasn't good enough. Anything, mm-hmm. you know. And I wanted to be able to have something that I could really stand behind. I don't want for nobody to be able to say, "Well, that shit don't work." Right. I want to be able to, oh no, it worked. I got proof that it worked. Uh, Hey, bro, how are you? Fine, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, shit. Um, I went to the house. Who put your pet? Your pro on about um, you can do this. Make sure I can get my food. Which was one of the things I dive heavily into product formulation. So mm-hmm. instead of me taking what, I, what someone already has and putting my name on it, I wanted to, to create my own. So I got heavy into that. Then once I had my products um, formulated, I mean, you know, like you said, I shut down and rebranded, repackaged, did everything, and you know, put it out there. Mm-hmm. It really just took off, you know. I, I started to master the art of uh, marketing, which um, was really kind of kind of part of my business. Just the exposure out there. Uh, I, I've never done uh, social media ads like through Instagram or Facebook. I never did any of those. Mm-hmm. 
It was all influencer marketing. So, next thing I know, we're getting laid over here. Just took off, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so much. You want to go on Yeah, have a great evening. You too, honey. I definitely rebranded as well when I wanted to turn all the um I I still had a lot of old products in my warehouse that was um that wasn't all right come on. come on. All right. All right.